this this is like this is like you guys waiting for these videos. <laughs> Welcome back to some Tales of Arise, everyone. Uh, I really do need to play this game more, and uh, you know what? I'm just gonna play it for like 89 hours straight now. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna rest up, and uh, we're gonna do this little side quest, which is killing a bunch of Zoogles. And then I think we're gonna actually progress the story, because it feels like, yeah, probably months since we last did that, so... What should I cook today? What should I cook today? Uh, I don't actually know if I need to cook. Do I still have my cooking buff from the last meal? Eh... We, we just, yeah, we made the Marbo curry last time, which uh, went down a treat with everyone involved. Still can't make the fish steak. Should we just make a plain hamburger? You know what, I'm just gonna make a plain hamburger, because I would actually devour one right now. Maybe, maybe leave the tomato. Not, not a fan. But, uh, yeah, Law, rustle up, uh, some burger for us, please. This is perfect! I'll have everybody's mouths watering when they see this! Mine already is. I am absolutely- it's- it's 2 a.m. and I'm bloody starving. And- oh no! I- we definitely did have a conversation with Dohalim available, but I spoke to Kisara first, and now the one with Dohalim's gone for some reason. That sucks. Uh, maybe it's a- no, it's not just at certain campfires, is it? Well, anyway, I guess we'll just go to sleep. Make sure to get some good rest. I'll try my best. But yeah, I, it's about time I get this game bloody finished, because when did I start I it? I couldn't eat another bite. Eating is one of your great passions. What? N no, it's not. There's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all know you're lying there, Shion. You could absolutely eat many more bites if you wanted to. Um, yeah, we've got a side quest in the Akfotl Hills, which is where we are right now. But yeah, when did I start playing this game? Wasn't it like September 2021 or something stupid like that? I really should just crack on with this. Uh, right. Skybound Swarm. So this is the quest we picked up from the person at the docks. So let's go do this quickly. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Uh, I haven't really done anything off screen, so nothing to report, but I hope you're all doing okay. And yeah, I will try my best. Whoa. Oh god, is it, is it more boomies? Is that what they're called? That's a big zoogle. It is. Yeah, I'm not sure we can take it. I am. Judge! It's only level 42, Mother Boomy. Wow, that design is kind of great, actually. That design is kind of great. I would definitely like a, a plushie of a Mother Boomy. Or even just a Boomy. So, yeah, I'm going to try tonight, at least, to get two videos done of this. Because, again, I, I just... Uh, I'm, I know I'm playing too many games, that is definitely my fault, but for some reason, I think it's because I'm so, so very much, like, worried about doing everything in this game. And I don't think I'm going to at this point, I think I've realized that, you know what, I think we should just focus on just enjoying it, doing what I feel like, not worrying so much, and just, uh, wasting a complete... Uh, boost attack, because I'm an idiot. Have we killed all the little ones? No, let's kill all the little ones. Let's kill its children before its very eyes. There we go, nice. What do you think of that? What do you think of that, Mother Boomy? Oh, you've got a weak spot on your back, okay. Oh, you just so Really? Did you summon more of them? Oh no, that was just an attack. He is. Okay. Thanks, Shoot it down, Shion. Yes. Everyone lay into it. Oh, devastation ain't gonna do shit. Oh, Dohalim. So I wonder if uh, if we kill this giant Zoogle, will will I get the trophy for killing twenty of them? Have I killed twenty big Zoogles? That is the question. I have completely lost count. It's also hot as balls tonight for some reason. I don't know why my room's so warm tonight. It's not even that warm outside. It's like 13, 13 degrees, which, you know, is 
It is quite warm for nighttime for us, but still. I've got my fan on. And it is... Uh, yeah, I'm sweating. I'm sweating, and I know you guys want to know that. That dodge. That was a good dodge. Shoots it down, Shion. Core break. Yes. Nearly halfway. Ooh. I get it, because it's boomy. So yeah, we're going to do this last side quest that we, you know, can easily do. The other ones, we're, we're going to have to either wait till later in the game. Because they're all the high level stuff. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the training ground for now. I think I just, I do want to progress the story. It, I really want to see what happens. I'm genuinely invested in the plot. And I hate it in games where I take too, too long of a break from the story. Because I lose all momentum and I really don't want that to happen. So, if I don't end up doing all of the content in this game, I do apologize, but I've got to kind of play it the way I want to. It is very rare for me, actually. Oh shit, I should have done a win well attack there. That was silly. It is quite rare for me to do everything in an RPG on my first playthrough as well, anyway. For, for those reasons, because I don't, I don't want to... You know, I want to experience the story first. That is the main draw for me. With, with most games, anyway, unless if the, if the game's got a crap story, then yeah, I, I might end up doing more side stuff. But oh shit! Ooh, look at that singing. But uh, but yeah, I think I think that's what I've got to do. Can I not target the. Am I targeting the weak point? We don't know. Used apple gel. Oh shit. Why did we use an apple gel? Who used an apple gel? I need to... I, I don't know, I've kind of forgotten what strategy I've got set up. Seems to be working okay though, we're not burning through CP too much, we're not dying a bunch. That ain't too bad. Oh, over limit just in time for a cool finisher, maybe. Oh, don't be missing. Uh, come on. There we go. Scarlet Inferno. And that was rather easy. Yeah, I like that. I like the enemy's design. Cool. I, I would definitely, I would definitely own a plushie of that. Astral Flower, more CP. I must keep striving. You can ease off yourself. Pot calls the kettle black. Good advice for all of us. To uh. be honest. Anyway, uh, I like to think that they have kettles in this world and they make brews. They make cups of tea and stuff. All right, let's go hand in the quest. Back to the wharf. And yeah, then, then we're going to crack on with the story, and I cannot wait. Need to check out this wedge. Ugh, we finally made it. See who this red woman is as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, are all the flying zoogles gone now? Sure. Uh, that's right, we didn't leave a single one standing. Right. right, it's true. I guess when you, uh... When you make her mad, she can really take it out on zoogle hordes. Alfin, you're playing with fire, dude. I mean, you you literally do play with fire, but, you know, metaphorically hey. as well. Don't give him any ideas, Alfin. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for the rest of my days. Okay, yeah, calm down. Hmm. When I think about it, those Zoogles were actually pretty cute. Yeah, right? Kind of. They were a little bit scary as well. Nice and easy. Ooh, new title. Explosive Gunslinger. Oh, Max Art Gauge. Beautiful. Always love that. Explosion. Ooh, a fire art for Shion. Ooh, last shot. Increase the amount of damage dealt by one of Shion's bombs when shot with her last special bullet. Uh, I might actually learn Explosion. Yeah. Ooh, we'll get 50 penetration if we get that. 
uh, mastered. Okay, we've still got more titles. Uncover the ultimate ingredient? I wonder what that is. It's probably going to be something really, really dumb. <laughs> Accessory Forged Mystic Crest. I wonder how the heck you make that. Um, anyone else? Oh, Rinuel, you've got quite a few points. Uh, are you close to learning or mastering anything? We'll get your increased evasion distance. And I will set this one to notify me when that's learned so we can get some resistance. Uh, Law, you have quite a lot of SP. Um, we'll get some of these cheap ones out of the way. I mean, it's only going to give us plus 10 defense, but it's better than nothing. Although, he isn't really in our party right now, so... It's not going to make that much uh, of an impact. Alright. Oh, is Dohalim ready to learn something too? Shit. Oh my god, wrong option. Dohalim. Oh, you do? Nice. So we're going to get some resistance for you as well. Sweet. So, grilled rapig is a recipe we, I guess we don't, ha I thought we had that. Do we not have that recipe? I know we, we do, don't we? Don't we have a rapid recipe? An artifact types acquired eight. I think we're pretty close to getting that one. Um, okay, I do, should really heal before I set off. Is there any campsites nearby? No, okay. Let's quickly nip to this one. I was debating to do some more fishing as well, but I don't think I'm going to bother for now. I'll save that We've for later, possibly. Right, we're going to have any more conversations. The vermilion vegetation certainly gives this realm a distinct, if somber, ambiance. Seems like there's lots of fruit and plants that we can eat. I also can't help but notice the ceaseless howling of the wind. It should be easy to dry our laundry out here. <laughs> I can't tell if these two are actually having a conversation or what. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, uh, we do have grilled rat pig. Oh shit, well I should definitely cook this then. Because we'll get a title. And probably a little cutscene. Earned combat points up by... Me Ooh, earned combat points. Combat points. Oh, for like our ranking and stuff. So we'll probably get more XP and things like that. Alright, Dohleem, grill us up some rapig. Poor thing. This is a true masterpiece, no less than culinary art. Very modest of you. Uh, increased cooking effect by 30%. Nice as well. Wow, that's some weird looking meat you're cooking up there. What is it exactly? That would be grilled rapig. What? <laughs> Whoa there! What's the big brew, haha? It's rapig! How could you cook something with such cute little eyes? What'd it ever do to you? I fail to see what the problem is. Rapigs are perfectly edible creatures. <laughs> Having said that, I do realize it's become rather rare to eat them lately. What with people increasingly embracing them as pets and companions. They definitely didn't fall out of fashion to eat because of their flavor, that's for sure. Agreed. Rapigs have tender, fatty meat. The taste can take some getting used to, but I would argue that's part of its charm. If the taste is too strong, I imagine you can either just cook it thoroughly or simmer it with some herbs to mask it. Indeed. At first I wasn't sure whether to smoke it with spices or simmer it in water, but I opted to grill it as is instead. Seriously, Dohalim? You have the weirdest tastes. That's probably because when you live the life of a lord, you grow tired of most ordinary cuisine. So you end up seeking out more unusual food. I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, putting aside what it used to be, you've got to admit it does look pretty damn good. Meat is meat after all. That reminds me. I do believe I once read in a book about rare delicacies, how one can go about preparing an owl. Oh no no. <laughs> Oh, no, no. I suppose I won't have the chance to try it anytime soon. Dohalim. Not with Hoodle, you won't! <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 
No, we ain't eating Hootle. Oh, still no cutscene. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I bet, I mean, I'm sure in real life people have eaten owl before. I, I personally wouldn't, but let's, uh, let's go to sleep. Hopefully Dohalim doesn't have his eyes pecked out in his, uh, in his slumber. Flat little comment. There we go. Title acquired rare food connoisseur. Increased rod extension length. Ow. And holy crap. Okay, so that's penetration plus 30. Improved healing arts. Oh, that would be a good one to save up for. Yeah. And increased max art gauge, to be honest. Okay. Oh, Alpha, you've got a lot of SP as well. Uh, da, 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 da. What should I go for? Devastation. Hmm. I think I'll go for easier over limit and increase near death attack elements of attack. Right. What joy to be sated. May I know this satisfaction evermore. Good for you, Dolly. Good for you, pal. Right, let's ju let's well, let's check out see if we can get ourselves a boat. I mean, I've got a save file. We've reached our just destination. Just in case I want to do more at this point in the game, but I think we'll probably get a chance to clear up a lot of stuff later any, uh, anyway, so... Let's go! We're actually progressing the plot, everyone! What? I know, right? Well, if it ain't the blazing sword and his merry crew! He survived! Mahavar? I can't believe you're still alive! Of course I am! If you landlubbers can make it out of that sinking ship alive, ain't no reason an old sea dog like me wouldn't too! Yeah, but that wave hit hard. I'm glad to see you're okay. Sorry we put you in so much danger back there. I'll water under the bridge at this point. You helped make one of my life's dreams come true. The ship, on the other hand, she took a bit of a beating, though, I'll admit. Really? What happened to it? It looks fine to me on the outside. She's fine now, but she was in rough shape when I made it back here. Engine chamber gave up the ghost. Without a lot of options, I decided to talk to the head honcho of the Dark Wings and see if he could help at all. And wouldn't you know it, crazy fool sent over Renan engineers to help. Can you believe it? Nice. Renan? Yep. Said they came from Menencia. They were real professionals. Did what they needed to and didn't give me guff or anything. I was damn near floored. So they did the work themselves. Good on them. Well, they did a bang-up job, because she's better than ever now. Speaking of which, I take it she's why you're here? Mm-hmm. Yes. We need to get out on the ocean, and fast. When can we set sail? Give the man a minute to think it over, Alfin. He hasn't even said yes yet. <laughs> it's all right, little lady. I'm a man of the sea. I'll gladly help. Hop aboard, folks. Aw, oh, you're my favorite seaman. Wait. No, yes. Wait, uh, make your way to the wedge. I still can't believe we're calling it that. Right, well. Awesome. I knew he wouldn't be dead. There's no way. And, uh, are we... I mean, we're probably not gonna gain control of this ship. I kind of wish we were, though. I don't think it's that kind of game, though. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. But, hey, we have a ship. And off we go to what is probably going to be a pretty big and difficult dungeon. Are we prepared? I don't know. But we're going there anyway. Ooh! This thing already looked plenty huge from afar. But seeing it up close makes it really hit home. I didn't expect the journey to go so smoothly. I figured the Renans would send something to sink us. Maybe they didn't think we had the nerve to come. Somehow I kind of doubt that. It's entirely possible they don't see us as a threat. What do you mean? That they think they're beyond our reach. Still, this structure is quite the unusual sight. 
Truth be told, never seen anything like it. You're right. It doesn't look like the buildings on Lenegas at all. Or like any Renan structure, for that matter. It's weird. It doesn't feel like the kind of thing that has people inside, either. Yeah, it's definitely something creepy. What the hell is it even made of? I don't know. It's not mechanical or biological, but it's definitely alive in some way. The heck? What was that? Is she on? I'm okay. It's nothing. Is it though? Well, what do we do now? We have to stop this thing from siphoning off all of Dana's astral energy. That means finding the core and smashing it to bits. Okay, but look at the size of it. I don't know if we'll find the core just wandering around. Good point. Can anyone get a read on the astral energy around us? Any kind of a sign? There's a rather enormous flow of energy moving directly upwards. If we wish to follow it, we'll have to do some climbing. <sighs> Rinwell? Over there? Hey, what's up with you? Huh? I... You okay? What happened? I'm not sure. When I was reaching out to the astral energy, I thought I heard... a voice. A voice? Yeah. I couldn't make out any words, but it sounded like it wanted me to come to it. This seems like a trap. Right? It's mm. not a trap. Mm? How can you tell? Listen, I don't know why, but when it spoke to me, I knew it wasn't hostile. What do you think? It could well be a trap. However, it's also our only real option, short of wandering aimlessly about. Let's trust Rinwell on this. You sure? Yeah. Eh, it beats the alternative, I guess. <laughs> oh, what did I say? Sheesh, it's like walking on eggshells around here. Sometimes you have to choose your words more carefully, Law. Huh? Oh, uh, right. You'll learn, Law. You'll learn. Ooh, title. Okay, that's weird. Attuned Mage. That's my name. Increased normal attack limit. Very good. Uh, Crossblade. Ooh. And that's more penetration. All right. Subquest cleared untamable rage. That's the quest we're currently doing. I think that's... Isn't that the... Um, is that the towel one? And we, I still don't know how you cook ice cream, but we, we haven't got that recipe yet. Hmm, okay, weird stuff's going on with Rinwell. It's noisy in here, isn't it? Things should calm down a little once we're through with this place. Optimistic as always. Hmm. And I like how they're saying, oh, we should trust Rinwell, you know, otherwise we're just going to be wanderingly, uh, wanderingly, wandering aimlessly around, as if I'm not going to be doing that anyway. Eh? Have they seen me play this game so far? Do they know what they're dealing with? Is there anything over here? Mm, apparently not. I assume... Can we still fast travel at this point? We can. Okay. Oh! Have others... Wait. There's another side quest in Pelegion? Oh my god, there is. Guys, we're just going to carry on with the story for now. I... Are any more side quests opening up? No, maybe just that one. Uh, okay, we'll check that out at some other time. I really do want to get cracking with this place, though. Alright, see you later. Uh, what was your name again? I just call you Pirate Man. Alright, in we go. Yeah, this actually reminds me a little bit of the towers in Breath of the Wild. 
Guessing it's going to be a little bit more difficult to deal with, though. Ooh, this looks pretty interesting. Oh, wow. This actually does remind me a little bit of a Zelda dungeon. The Wedge. Could they really not have... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking of Trivial Pursuit or something. Or a Wedge of Cheese. Hmm, it's a bit creepy though. I see that the interior of the Wedge is every bit as strange and unusual as the exterior. Intriguing. If I didn't see it come from Lenegas, I wouldn't believe it was Renan. Just what's with this place? Yeah, it's all twisty and lumpy. Whatever it's all for, I'm stumped. It is, it is odd, I will give you that. Very alien. Uh, apparently I can climb this. Ugh, the sound of that is pretty gross. And, of course, we've got even weirder looking Zoogles in here. Blooming Ropers and Dual Blades. Oh, that boost is out. That was so good. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Oh wow, we are wrecking these things. We work well together. Like a final time waltz. Yep, that's that's not too bad. I think we're gonna be okay in here for a little bit at least. Oh, these guys are a little bit tougher. Dohleem, I need your boost attack, buddy. Yeah, doesn't it give you guys Zelda uh, vibes? A little bit of like, um... Fucking Jabu Jabu's belly, um... I don't know, just, it doesn't really look that similar to a Zelda dungeon visually, but I just get those vibes. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. Some nice materials. Well, I'll do my best. Chest. Curse charm. Okay. Hey, new equipment. All right, Alpha. Don't get too excited. We've already got one of those. I think, anyway. Whew, what a rush! What a rush! What is this? That's probably going to be a shortcut, isn't it? We probably activate another one of these later on in the tower. Which again makes me think this is going to take absolutely ages to get through. Especially if I try and be as thorough as possible. Oh. Okay, another another room. Another bunch of weird flower jellyfish things. Avoid all the poison goop. And completely avoid the enemies as well. Alpha and um, Alpha, well done. Now these things are pretty easy, all things considered. We have tabled the turns. Further away the better. <laughs> that would be my uh, mantra. Taking out some pretty decent damage now, though, like 10,000 then. must truly be watching over me. Also, we've got the maximum uh, battle gauge chain. Large demi-human talon plus uh, two. Ooh, nice. Hopefully be able to make some decent equipment with that. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the, uh, of the freaking Deku tree, but just super colorful. <laughs> Stay calm. I shall provide assistance. Where is it? I don't I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I really want to play off for your time now. That was so fun, I played that back in oh, 2019 now. Uh, on the channel, if you want to check out that let's play, it's uh, it's on my channel. 
really, really enjoyed that game. It's one of my favorites. But, uh... Yeah, I, um... I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about! My mind just went blank then. It's all the, all the colors and... I had a good partner. All the, uh... Crazy looking attacks. I kind of just get hypnotized sometimes. And I did just kick my desk as well, which hurt a lot. Wait, wasn't there a chest in... Oh, I opened that chest. That's a different room. Uh, wait a minute. Is there any more? Okay, yeah, I think we've... Yep, yeah, we've opened everything. Right. Through... I guess this is a door. This is all Dana's astral energy. Whoa. Are you saying the Renans are funneling it through here to send to Lenigus? Sure looks like it. We have to put a stop to it. Quickly. That's pretty pretty. Oh, great, got more winged friends. Shion, get you gun ready, but first, hang on. Let's see what's up here. Ah, oh, you know what this reminds me of? Anyone, anyone see the, uh, the Santa Claus movie from the 80s with John Lithgow? It's like the candy that makes the, uh, the, like, the, the sled fly. That's what that reminds me of a little bit. God, I've not seen that film in years. I used to watch that a lot as a kid. I think it was called the Santa Claus movie anyway. It's, it's definitely not the Santa Claus with Tim Allen, although that was also great. Are they doing a TV series for that on Disney Plus? I believe so. It's nice to see Tim Allen getting some work, though. I uh, I know you know I know he's got political opinions and well, everyone does, but like I just grew up watching a lot of uh, like Home Improvement and obviously Toy Story, so. Well then, let's keep moving. I was always a fan. Ooh, Lord, you can now learn something. Don't know what it was. Check it out in a second. Uh, where was it? Ah, faster out gauge recovery. Nice. And boom. Plus 10 defense. It is better than nothing. Alright. So what, we're in spy Spiral 1 now? or is No, we're in Spiral 2, I'm guessing. Alright, you big burbs. Chaotic figures. Ouch. I can shatter anything. Oh yeah, they don't like wind. They don't like wind. Nice. This could be useful. Indomitable gargantubone. <laughs> That's what I call my penis. This seems strange. Like it should be among creatures you'd find in a forest. Cut it out! I don't need to hear that. It's gotta be man-made, right? Or it's so. It would not be any easier to predict. Remain vigilant. <laughs> You really think this is man-made? Law? Okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'll go with that, sure. Reminds me a little bit of the end of Tomb Raider 1 as well. You know, where it just goes absolutely apeshit. Inside of Atlantis. Oh, more of you guys. Uh, I kind of want to avoid them, not gonna lie. So we have fought so very many of them. Ooh, and I did too. Nice. I can't believe we're not even level 40 yet. Can you believe we're not even level 40? And I've put in nearly 60 hours into this game. 60 hours! That is a long bloody time. I'm not in the poison there, am I? Oh, I dodged something. I don't know what I did. Dodged, but I dodged something. Where are you going? 
Smacked out the sky there, that's not good. Damn, over limit again? I'm in your death, Dohain. your death, Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe get closer, Alphen. Oh, just got the over limit off there, that was really close. Oh, I missed this freaking strike, I'm an idiot. How am I not hitting you? Yeah, this is this is gonna be a long quite necessary when creating weapons. Long slog. But yeah, we're getting some good materials. I reckon we'll probably already uh, be able to make some new weapons soon. Can I climb these? Oh I can climb those. Yeah. Uh which way do I wanna go though? And I'm guessing that's the way I'm supposed to go, so let's just see what's up here. Oh, just an item. Pino. I'm glad we're getting some gels, because I, I probably should have gone and bought some. I don't even know what my gel supply is at the moment. I know it probably isn't great, though, because I tend to go through them a lot. Also, we have 512 CP! Bloody hell! I did not realize that. Indomitable Gargantua Bone. Nice. Yeah, I wonder if I... Can I fast travel out of here? I can, so... Yeah, if I wanted to go back and upgrade weapons and stuff, we probably could do quite easily. But, uh, preferably I would like to find a fast travel point. Two of you guys and two of you guys. Get lost! You're mine! I shall ensure you survive this. Oh, who should I focus on first? The, these guys or the winged dudes? Uh winged dudes. Damn. That was a pretty good combo. Punch it, Lord. Thank you. You're missing, Alphen. You're missing. Yeah, I mean, in terms of uh, where this game is going, I think we've, we've got to go to Lenius. Or maybe even Renner. So maybe once we're done with this tower, that's going to be where we go next. Obviously, I don't know. But I really don't know how far off we are from actually beating the main story. This game is uh, quite lengthy. Oh, I nearly ran off. Red Lavender. Oh, I didn't press jump, I'm an idiot. Oh, da oh I ran into the enemies I avoided last time. Shit. Oh well. Bit more XP, isn't it? Bit more XP, bit more SP. Bit more materials. Shouldn't really complain. But I will do anyway, because I'm British, and that's what we're good at. We're good at drinking, we're good at... Like... I don't know. Complaining about the weather. Complaining about that there's not much to complain about sometimes. We truly are a great people. And I. Uh, <laughs> this commentary is absolutely terrible. I'm so sorry. Again, I'm going to blame it on the fact that it's like 3 a.m. We have a long way yet to go. We do have a long way yet to go, Alfin. I can guarantee you that. At least we're making some headway. Hey, look at that enemy. It's shining. Oh god. 
Ooh, did my battle gauge just run out then? I think it may have just run out. Now I've seen everything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These battles are just so chaotic. Take out the shiny one first. Take out. Ouch. Oh god. Oh god. Thanks for the heal. Okay, it's down. It's down. You fight better at a distance. The further away, the better. You and I both. I'm fully going to admit, though, at the moment, I'm just pressing buttons. I've completely forgotten all of my combos. Although, we seem to be doing all right, so... Holy shit. Wow, our battle gauge went way back up, and is this going to be a... Yep, CP thing, Blazing Sword. Well, that was cool. What do we get? Revival ring. A ring that may revive the wearer from a KO. There was once a whole squad of famous for wearing these rings known as the Undead Legion. That is a pretty badass wow. name. Wow, you've got to be lucky to find this stuff. Indeed. I can tell it's quite the find. Uh, we have a skit to watch too. This place definitely isn't easy to navigate. That's for sure. I doubt this structure was conceived with the ease of people's movement in mind. Yeah, we've been seeing nothing but Zugal nests. It's almost as if we're inside an incredibly immense spirit vessel of some sort. A spirit vessel? If that's the case, then that would make Lenigus the master core that's receiving all the astral energy. Hey, have you heard that voice again since we came in here? Oh, so now you believe me. I never said I didn't believe you. I was going to say. The further in we go, the stronger the voice gets. Is that a sign we're going the right way then? Where's this voice coming from? Can you tell? Yeah, kind of. I hear it inside me, but I feel like it's also coming from every direction around us. It's hard to describe. It's almost like it's surrounding me. Surrounding, huh? Considering astral energy is involved, it's not that unusual. Right, but it's not scary or anything. Listening to it is really soothing. If you think so, just promise you'll say something if the voice gets too clingy or anything. I promise. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, Lord didn't... didn't, didn't uh, shit on you for hearing voices. He... he uh, anyway. Um... <laughs> I don't know why. When Kisara said it's not that unusual, all I, all I wanted to sing was like, it's not unusual to hear voices everywhere. No, 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 no. You know, a bit of Tom Jones. Oh my god, we got another dual headed doggo. Hey, and he's shiny as well. Oh, do we have to? I mean, we probably don't have to. Look, I just walked straight past it. <laughs> but no, we will. We will. We'll fight it. An elixir, very, very nice. All right, boyo. We're only level thirty-four. Maybe we're slightly over leveled for this area. I wasn't thinking it was going to be the case. Quite the opposite, if anything. Time down, Dovlin. Nice. Get away, get away. I didn't want to put you out. What are friends for if we can depend on them? You're right. I'll bear that in mind. Yes! Oh, <laughs> Sometimes the camera doesn't quite keep up with all the action. But for the most part, it does a really good job. Again, I think this battle system is very, very impressive. Even when things get super hectic, it's, it's usually not too difficult to keep track of what's going on. Usually. Can't get out of this. 
Not nearly dead yet. We, have we built up your, your gauge at all? I don't think we have. Shoot it, Sion. Oh, you have a lot of health. Whoa. God. Yeah, it's a bit of a tough cookie, but I hope we get some good shit for it. God, it's just so fun, though. It is really, really fun, except when you get breath attack to the face. That's not quite as fun. Oh, yeah, that really hurt. <laughs> that hurt a lot. Well, look who's in a bright and shiny All we got for that was some Tempest Fangs? Really? Really? Oh, hello. Oh, God. Uh, what is this going to do? Oh, is this going to be a shortcut? Fast travel point added. Yes! Perfect. The teleporter to the entrance is now active. Thank God. All right, so that means we can just come back here whenever we want, which means also I may go back and see if I can make any new weapons or equipment after we've dealt with these bastards. Get lost. Void boomies. I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. Sounds like a job for you, truly. I'll take you all off. Oh, You'll soon see about that. Oh, damn. Oh, we are getting over limit all the time. I bloody love that. That is so useful. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Oh, again, just got that off in time. Oh, the other one! Oh, nice! Flaming Pillar! Flaming Pillar! That's like the second time we've seen that, isn't it? Oh, I do love that one. That was so good. I'm just trying to do the best I can. Oh, dude! I mean, you're even better than ever. Any injuries? Rending Titan Fang, Mystical Lumina Core. Crap ton of money. We do need that. If we're going to be making new weapons, we need money. Alright. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll briefly leave this place. Let's go... Well, I guess we'll head back to Pelagian and just see if this... Uh, what the side quest is. We'll quickly pick it up. And then I can decide whether or not I want to do it just yet. But uh, we, we've got a little bit of a ways that through the tower, at least. Little adventure we went on. There's a lot of people here. Oh, where's the side quest? I hear a voice. Somebody's asking for help. Oh, it's you again. Hopefully. What was her name? <laughs> Tilsa. Oh, hey, Alfin. Nice to see you. Wow. Tilsa, did you come out from Calaglia to help out with things here? Mm. Sure did. I heard what happened. It sounds like these people had it even worse than we did. If you can believe it, they might be physically free, but a lot of them still have a long way to go mentally. So it seems. I actually, uh, actually have some knowledge about treating mental health issues, so I'm going to try and help them, I think, independently while I'm here. Well, that's, that's jolly good of you. Thank you. That'd be really great. How do you plan to help them? Simple, by sitting down and talking with them one-on-one. -on -one. Asking questions, seeing how they respond, and counseling them. Sounds like a good start. That makes sense. I wish we had the time and ability to do that kind of stuff ourselves, but we don't really. I mean, not everyone's qualified to do that anyway. It's it's not an easy job. 
Stop feeling like you have to shoulder everything yourself, Alfin. You'll burn yourself out. But <laughs> Cause he's got the fire sword, get it? No? Okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe you and I could sit down together for a session. What do you say? Oh? Hey, I'll, t I'll take some three fa uh, therapy. What? You really think I need counseling that badly? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think that they would even know that this kind of thing existed in this world. No need to get so defensive. I just want to gauge how you're doing mentally right now. Oh, alright. Well, let's give it a shot. Great! Yeah. Alright, I want you to answer a series of questions for me, okay? Ooh, is it going to be multiple choice? First question, don't think too deeply, just go with your gut. What's your favorite type of astral energy? Oh, I do get to choose! Ooh, I mean, probably fire. For me. How do you like to fight? Close quarters or nothing, yep. What is the most important thing to you in, in life? Oh, that's, that's a bit of a question, isn't it? Uh, I'm all about the money, having my free time, my friends, obviously. Ooh, I mean, it's, it's gotta be, it's, it's friends. Although I do, I do really like free time and money. <laughs> uh, friends. There's a wall standing in your way, what do you do? Uh, break it down, climb over it, turn around and leave. I mean, if it was me, it probably would be turn around and leave. Uh, should I... Uh, I'd probably... No, I'd probably try and climb over it. I don't, I don't think I, I would think myself powerful enough to break the wall down, so yeah. Have you ever heard any mysterious voices before? No, but Rinwell has. I uh, can't say I have. That's all the questions for me. Now as for your results... You're like a thorny lone wolf behind your cool, calm and collected disposition is a kind and caring soul. Duh. You don't want to be flustered by most uh, anything. Well, that's definitely not me. But it wouldn't hurt to lean on someone else for support on occasion. Wow. You know, I never really thought of myself like that, but maybe you're right. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. If you ever want another session, come back and talk to me anytime. Well, that was a nice easy side quest. Obviously didn't get much rewards for it, but that's still cool. I wish I could get an examination. Well, if you say so. Uh-oh. Let me see. Uh, yes, you're Rinwell, all right? Well, if only your brain could keep up with your mouth. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I think we'll head to another campfire. Which one will be best? I can never find one when I want to. We could rest at an inn as well, but I want to see if we can cook something. Uh, Latvi Marshaller, yeah. That'll do. See what weapons we can make. That was quite the little adventure we went on. But first we rest. Rice, I think. Or wait, what if we used wheat and... <gasps> no, potatoes! I, I can't decide! <laughs> Are you seriously thinking about food again? No, I'm planning battle tactics. Uh -huh. Tactics, huh? Uh-huh. Uh, Are you gonna throw pota potatoes at the enemy, Shion? Alright, what should we cook this time? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Thinking maybe, maybe more XP. Did I ever make a sandwich? I can't remember if I've ever made that. Let's make a sandwich. Mmm. Looks perfect and tastes just as good. Just like Yuki, Sara. Hey, we finally got a chat with Dohalim. Let's do it. Dohalim, care if I hang out for a while? Another fine day for journeying, huh? Tell me, do you ever find yourself tiring of the vagabond existence? It's better than being enslaved, that's for sure. I get to pick my own destination, for starters. You don't get those luxuries as a slave. Shackle a man's feet, and you put a clamp on his heart as well. Then there was the food. Gross slop that left you in a permanent state of hunger. Ugh, you wouldn't believe the things I ate to keep from starving. What about you? 
This must all sound pretty alien to someone who used to be a lord. I bet he ate children. Is that a hint of interest in my past I detect? I guess that's one way to put it. Well, certainly starvation was never a concern I had to contend with. The day-to-day -day grind was largely taken care of for me. I even had help getting in and out of clothes. All that was required of me was standing still while looking solemn. That's quite the downgrade you've made. It's a wonder you don't sound more bitter. That sounds so this boring, though. This might surprise you, but I actually don't find our current situation all that disagreeable. My own hardships paled in comparison to yours, granted. But life as a lord came laden with its own restrictions. Forgive me. Such complaints must sound like feeble extravagances to a Danon. True, Ren and Opulence doesn't feature high on my sympathy list. <laughs> and again, yours isn't exactly a normal case. I suppose it's not. Sometimes, I can't help but wonder how much easier life would have been without the trappings of nobility. You really mean that? Pay me no heed. Not but the ramblings of a privileged eccentric. Whatever my past, it has led to my being here. That is all the reality I need concern myself with. That's actually a perfect description of Dohli. A privileged, uh, privileged eccentric. Uh, I knew they couldn't say those words for some reason. I suppose we should call it a day. Oh, that was good though. I do like these little uh, moments with the the party. Shall we get right. moving? Can I make any new weapons, my dude? Also, maybe accessories, but let's focus on the weapons first. Uh, ooh, I can make a supreme ground fang. Oh, using one of my gargantu bones. Yes, I think we will make that. Uh, nothing new for Shion, although we could make some of these weapons that we've not made before. Ah, which makes me wonder, actually. Uh, maybe I should make the Refined Ignis Raw, because I'm going to need that for the Supreme Ignis Raw. I don't have any Flame Stones yet, though, so probably not any point doing that just yet. Uh, could still make the Pork Fork. Ooh, Nature's Beauty 3rd Edition. Heck yes. Well, that's going to be a big bonus. Uh, law. Ooh, we could make rapid plushies. Oh my god. Oh my god. We could totally do that too. But no. Uh, Supreme Crystal Knuckles or Tyrant Fists. They don't actually look that impressive. Hmm. Uh, that's going to be using up pretty much all of our Gargantua Bones, though. Uh, but I mean, that's really powerful. So, you know what? There you go, Lord. And Kisara, Supreme Feather Shield. Ooh. In fact, that'll use up all of our Gargantua Bones, so perfect. Nice. So a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, quickly manage the ranch. Bunch more Rapigs. Uh, we'll send some horses, just because I can't be bothered. Deciding what else to choose. Now, accessory wise, again, I really don't know. Uh, revival ring does sound pretty good. And we do have one of those anyway. I might be able to. Can I upgrade it? No. At least I thought I had one. So I need a regenerator, uh, regenerative crystal. A ge regenerative crystal. I don't know why I can't. It's it's three a.m. Okay, I can't I can't talk. I shouldn't really be making videos. Uh, right. I don't know. I don't know. Flint foot. We kind of checked this out last time, didn't we? And nothing really jumped out at me. Spirit bangle. We could. Ooh, we could make a spirit bangle, which will be restore C one CP upon defeating an enemy, which. Probably doesn't sound too much, but I reckon... I reckon that could actually make a bit of a difference. Um, attack 20, fire damage, increase aggro, CP cost minus 10%. Oh wow, that would be like 80 plus attack. Wind damage, coup de gras. Uh, max HP. 
Rare drop, rare drop rate up large. Ooh, ooh. Glutton for battle, water damage, light, dark damage, minus ten percent. Ah, penetration plus one hundred and twenty. Oh, I don't know what to choose, guys. I don't know what to choose. Mm. Mental defense. I think I'm gonna. Gosh darn it. It's really difficult choosing. After attack damage. Okay. I'm gonna make this one. I'm gonna make this one. Red drop rate up large. I don't know who I'm gonna give it to, though. You know what, chaps? I might. Oh, should I just. You know what? We've made it. We've made it. Let's just. Let's just go with it. It's a level 5 accessory, which is pretty sweet. Uh, it just means we're going to need a million materials to get it leveled up. Uh, so I'm just going to use a few of these. We've got a lot of level 3s and level 2s. Just don't want to use up all of one thing, if you know what I mean. Heavy to crystals. So we still need 30 crumbs. Pebble. Here's the crystals. Okay, two more. Two more. Boom. Nice juicy five star accessory. I always love the sound of hammers, bang. Okay, cool, Alfin. Right, who should I give that to? Um, I think we'll probably... Yeah, Shion's accessory kind of sucks. I can't believe I'm not giving her something better than that. Uh, oh, we had a buff bangle as well. Did I... Wait, did I make that off-screen or did I... Why don't I have that on Alfin? Because that's a lot of fire damage as well, as well as rare drop rate up. Does that stack? If you have that on multiple accessories, does that stack? Uh, we'll get, we'll give. Uh, hmm. See, I don't know if that is better for Shion, really. We'll give her the resist ring instead. Um, Yeah, I didn't realize my accessories are kind of lacking a little bit. We'll give that to Law. Yeah, Alfin, I'm going to give you the buff bangle. That probably makes sense. I mean, we'll lose quite a bit of attack, but I could always swap abilities, I suppose. In the way. I could do that. Kind of mix and match a little bit. Transfer skill. So... Which, uh, which one am I transferring? Am I transferring to this accessory or from it? Select the skill you like to transfer. Okay, yeah, I'd like to give attack plus 60. Instead of possibly the fire damage plus 7.5%. Because we've already got plus 15. So, what does Glutton for Battle do again? Nah, we'll, we'll give him. We'll give him that one. Transfer. Nice. I really like this system. This is such a good, a good system. Okay. Right. Well, everyone, I think that's probably enough for a, a pretty chunky video here. I do apologize about the commentary. Next time, we will continue our way through the tower or the wedge, which we've uh, made a pretty decent start with, and I reckon with some of these uh, upgrades we've just given ourselves. we, I, I hope we won't struggle too much. But uh, yeah, take care everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.